Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video on my channel here. Now in today's video, guys, I'm going to be bringing you a really good run defense in Madden 21. Now quickly, guys, if you have not checked out my two most recent videos, they are going to be in the top right of the screen right now in the card. But guys, without further ado, let's go ahead. Let's transition into the pre-play adjustments for this run defense. All right, guys, so here we go. Today, we're going to be going over this run defense. Now the play we're going to be coming out in on defense is going to be out of the big nickel over G formation in the Miami Dolphins defensive playbook. Now, in the pin comment down below, we are going to have or I'm going to put all of the playbooks that this play is in defensively. It's in a lot of playbooks, so that's going to be a pretty long comment. But basically, right here, we're going to be going over this cover three sky. Now, quickly for your personnel in terms of coaching adjustments, I would just go ahead and leave them normal as you won't really be using zones, but it might be good to go ahead and put your flats on something low, like five yards, as you may need a little bit of you basically may need them to stop the run so that's going to be very very key now in terms of the personnel you want to go ahead and you want to make sure here that you have safety subbed in at linebackers so we are going to have um kevon frazier and clayton vajedulum subbed in there they're doing a pretty nice they, they honestly will do a pretty good job and then in terms of your defensive line you just want to have your best players out there so we have van ginkle raekwon davis wilkins and Ogba on the field, they will do a pretty solid job. So here we go. The play is going to be this cover three sky. We are just going to come out with this. And then on offense, we're going to be coming out in single back dudes close halfback stretch. Now I will do a quick disclaimer right here before we do get in the actual setup that this is not really a great run defense against I-Form. Now i is kind of a tough run to stop due to the fact that you have that fullback in there, but pretty much any other run in the game, most Pri most um, primarily is really good at stopping the runs out of shotgun formations and then the run out of sync runs out of single back it does a pretty good job of that but basically right here for the setup what we're going to do is we're going to press our defense which is wind down the left stick we're then going to shade over the top which is wind up on the right stick then we are going to go and pinch our defensive line which is left in the d-pad down the left stick we're going to slant them outside which is left in the d-pad up on the right stick we're going to spread our linebackers, which is right on the D-pad, up on the left stick. And then we're going to blitz them, which is right on the D-pad and down the right stick. Now, if you want to go ahead and do a, and do an optional adjustment, if you have time, go ahead and shade underneath, which is Y and down the right stick, and then over the top, which is Y and up on the right stick, to make those curl flats cloud flats, as they will play the run a little bit better if you have your zone drops low on them. So basically, this is the setup. It's a very simple setup, but what you want to do, if you are playing current gen, you can shoot the gap right up the middle with the center. That is completely fine. However, if you're playing next gen, you're going to want to go ahead and play it a little bit differently. Now, yes, you can go ahead and shoot the gap, but it's not going to be as effective as it was on current gen. What you would want to, what you want to do is you want to sort of drop back and play the outside if it's a stretch run. And then if it's an inside run, just try to shoot the gap. That's pretty much it. So this is going to be an outside run. We're just going to hike the ball. And you see right here, we're going to come around and we're actually able to go ahead and stop him for only a one yard gain. So I'm just going to run it again. So press, shoot at the top, pinch defensive line, slant outside, spread linebackers, blitz all linebackers. And then we're just going to shade underneath and over the top for extra support. So basically, right here, we're just going to hike the ball. And you see right here, now, unfortunately, I did not play that the best right there. But you're seeing that I'm sort of playing the outside. I'm dropping back, playing the outside, and then eventually shooting that gap. That's how you want to play the run on next gen. You can't really shoot the gap. Like, I'll, I'll show you guys real quick. So we're just going to hike the ball. I'm going to shoot the gap right up the middle. You see that I'm very far away from Kareem Hunt. Now, if I was playing current gen, it'd be a much different story. But the movement is slower on next gen, so it sort of hinders you in that aspect. So what you would want to do, you want to play it a bit more strategically. Just sort of play the middle of the field and then eventually go and try to stop the run. So basically do what I'm doing and try to really get to the outside. Now our cornerback made a very good tackle and then we were able to go ahead and finish it off. Now we're going to run to the left side. Going to quickly showcase this. As I did mention before, this run is going to do excellent, excellent against shotgun runs, anything out of single back. But in pretty much the only thing, the only run formation that this has trouble with is going to be I-Form, which is a very tough run formation to stop in the game unless you have the right defense. So pretty much, once again, we're going to the outside. And what I'm doing is I'm going for a wrap tackle, which is going to be holding the A button. It's a very conservative way to tackle. 
And if you can get it down and get the right angle, you're basically going to get a tackle in the backfield every single time for a loss of yards if you go ahead and know how to do it. So just remember, hold the A button. Make sure you're coming at the exact right angle. That's another really important thing right here. But you're going to see we're going to go to the outside. I got a bit late of a jump right there, so I'm just going to redo that. But you see that I'm sort of playing the outside, then I'm coming down and then going for a wrap tackle. So that's what you want to do in the game. So pretty much, we're just going to go to the outside here, hike the ball. You're going to see we're going to wrap around, go with the wrap tackle. You see we're dropping him for a loss of one yard, and we're sort of pinning him because he can't really cut it back inside because there are defensive linemen there, but also we have, we have him right in our face. So we're able to go with a wrap tackle right here. So... Guys, that's going to pretty much do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to smash that like button. The trash press five likes. You guys are awesome. Take care. And most importantly, stay classy.